Tigers. Today is Monday, February the 8th. Good morning, Mrs. Matthews. Good morning, Mrs. Miller. Good morning, Tigers. Students, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Today is also Mindful Monday. What do you have for us today, Mrs. Matthews? Well, uh, I do have a Mishmash Monday special Ooh. day, if you'd like to see that. Is that. I guess that's being, we're being mindful that it's Monday and we still like to share our spirit wear on Monday. Yep. Go. All right. So for Mishmash Monday, I was ob observing a class the other day, Ms. Shapiro's class, and I happened to notice she was wearing her tiger shirt on Friday. So um, I'm very happy to share that. So thank you, Ms. Spiro, for being so spirited with your fourth graders. Absolutely. And also we've got Oren and Nora and Henry showing their tiger spirit. That little tiger get, is very popular, isn't it? That yes, little... it is. Oh my goodness. And Rosie and Bobo, of course, and Alyssa. That Bobo doesn't miss a... A beat, right? He's in all the pictures. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and lastly, we have a, a new a student that we've never seen before. So we're so happy, Abigail, that you sent in your tiger spirit uh, picture. She's with uh, Miss Sofer in room 33. Thanks, Abby. Yeah, thank you all for sending in your pictures. We continue with our Kids Heart Challenge. This is the last week. Friday is the last day but it's not too late to sign up and choose a challenge. We have raised $14,816. Wow. Yeah, that's a great, great job. Great, great job. In first place, we have Miss Mozinia's class. Yay! Second place, Holding strong is Miss Erfalian's class. Wow. Great job, Miss Erfalian's class. A tie for third. I think these two have been tied for third before. Miss Eden's class and Miss Todd's class. Congratulations. Very and close. Interesting twist, Miss Miller. Oh. In fourth place, and uh -huh. I mentioned this because they are so close to third, there are three classes that are just wow. right scraping on the third grade at the third place um, door is Miss Linton's class, uh -huh. Mr. Cook's class, and Miss Spiro's class. Whoa. They're right there. <laughs> so congratulations to those. And we also have a, a special message today from uh, Coach McAdam. Hey, Dylan, Mike here from the American Heart Association. Just wanted to send you this quick message, letting you know how proud and thankful I am for your amazing support of our mission. Uh, right now, you've raised over $600. This is simply amazing, and it's going to go to saving lots of lives. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you're having an awesome time doing Kids Heart Challenge at Sherman Oaks Elementary. Can't wait till next week when we possibly slime your principal and assistant principal. Have a great weekend. And for Black History Month, today we are celebrating Dr. George Grant. Dr. Grant invented the first wooden golf tee in 1899. You know, before Grant's invention, golfers carried buckets of sand from hole to hole to build up the sand mounds from which they would hit the balls. And this led him to carve a wooden peg that could be pushed into the ground. And you know, he didn't market nor did he seek any money for his invention. Instead, he just gave away the wooden tees to anyone that uh, wanted them. Yes, and I don't know um, if you know this, Mrs. Miller, but in addition to that, mm -hmm. he also was the first African-American professor at Harvard University. Wow. Also, don't forget that we are continuing with our Display My Art fundraiser. Look at this cup that I received from the Art Explorers. This is nice. Wow. Mug. Ooh, there you go. But I love it. It's red on the inside. Yeah. 
it's really, really nice. So that's another product that you can purchase. It's a, uh, yeah, just a colorful mug with the art artwork on it. You know, there's so many great products that you can choose from. And I just want to remind everyone that this fundraiser supports all the enrichments that we have here at our school. Yes, like our Art Explorers program, the music program, mm -hmm. our science lab, and also our computer lab. When you receive your product, make sure that you send us a picture of you with it so that we can share it along with other spirit pictures. And congratulations to our Super Bowl champions of 2021, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And we continue to learn all about being healthy and here are some healthy heart facts. Number one, sugary drinks often have lots of calories by some estimates to burn off the calories from one 12 ounce can of soda, a 75 pound child would need to ride a bicycle at a fast pace for about 30 minutes. It could take a 150 pound adult about 25 minutes of walking at a moderate pace to burn off the same amount of calories. Number two, healthy hearts need regular physical activity. But a recent survey reported that more than 40% of high school age students play video or computer games for three or more hours daily. And more than 30% of these adolescents watch television for more than three hours on the average school day. Put down the games and go outside. Also, I'm sure you know that being around cigarette smoke can lead to early death. In fact, about 41,000 people 35 and older died from the effects of secondhand smoke each year from 2005 to 2009. Did you know that the average man's heart pumps almost 2,000 gallons of blood each day? That is how much water some fire department's tanker trucks can hold. Lastly, heart healthy fact number five, the extra calories and sugary drinks can not only pack on the pounds, but they usually don't provide the important nutrients your body needs. Some studies have even suggested that the body doesn't recognize calories from sugary drinks the same way it recognizes calories from food. With something to think about, this is Principal Miller. And Mrs. Matthews. Make it a great day. Or not. The choice is yours. Is yours. <laughs>